that's a damn shame. Chipotle, I don't like people named Chipotle, it's Chipotle. That's a damn shame. You know, I look like a lot of people in life, and I just recently hit, got hit, I look like Pops, Craig's daddy. I don't look nothing like fucking Craig's daddy off the of <laughs> That shit pissed me off. I can go with Muhammad Ali. I even give you a little shake even. I can go, you know, I can do that even. I can do that even. Muhammad Ali fell off a goddamn horse. But I do not look like Craig's motherfucking daddy. I was looking at that motherfucker the other day. I can just sit over. Look at Craig. I'm going to let you get that one in, Lady Q, okay? I hate to give a mic to the person that's next to me right here. Put some hands together, right? Come to the stage for the second half of the show. I got some more funny comics for you. My homegirl and my funny Miss Funny Girl, Lady Q. Which is yeah. Lady Q, that's yeah. funny girl. She will go ahead and kick my ass if I get it wrong. He got it wrong already, y'all. Come on, make some noise for surviving that first half. God, come on. I love you so much. <laughs> I swear I do. I'm gonna go get me a juicy cup because it's got to be something else in there. <laughs> There's something about that juicy cup. Oh, y'all, this microphone touched my mouth. Oh, oh hell. Y'all can't even joke. I'm so serious. <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all. We having a good time, right? Right? We gotta deal with a couple things real close. Real, real, real soon. Real, real fast. Guys, you know you was up here lying. You know you was up here lying. Now, if you was 470,000 pounds, you wasn't getting sex like that. <laughs> now, I'm a big girl. You a big boy. It's only took so much that big can do together. After all that sweat, somebody gonna slide out the bed. <laughs> that's good that you put it in your little skin and stuff. You know, that's good. But I got to call you out on these lies now. And don't pull your shirt up like that no more. I felt totally violated. My point is... But my cornea is mad. I got a little twitch now because of you. <laughs> Will, my baby, my boo, you big bear. How you go from messing up the words to just becoming political? You was Jesse Jackson all of a sudden. All because you couldn't say ethnicity. <laughs> then he finished it up like he was gonna, like he was gonna take up a collection of some love each other. Cause we all were cat. You come out the coot. was a mix. But you got to help with his intelligence because you said that the white woman wanted him to pick cotton on King's Day on Black History Month. Now if you don't know that's two different months. <laughs> I know you in Arizona, but uh, I'm going to need you to get that part right, boo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need you to get that right, okay? All right. All right. I just, I'm just saying. And Chipotle. We, oh, Chipotle. He done dipped out on me. Oh, you in the back. Mm. Chipotle. Crocodile niggery. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I ain't got no rolls for you at all. But the next time you put me under after the rail and you know he got chlamydia and his microphone to touch my lip again, you better be glad I got health insurance. Now, we could do something with this health insurance, but I told one of us gonna slide out the bed. You lost 60 pounds. I still got mine. <laughs> I'm not tripping about this weight though. Normally I trip about my weight, I really do. But I ain't tripping right now because this is the Emma month. This is the only time of the year where it's okay to be a big girl. Only time. I've been hearing this stuff about what, what is it, hot girl, hot girl summer, all this crap. I'm hot girl every month. <laughs> <laughs> and places that probably should be so I'm hot every month. Every single month. But when we get to these ember months, this is how everybody gets to be big. Because it's coming up on Thanksgiving. Y'all gonna be just as fat as I am on Thanksgiving. Oh, now y'all wanna get quiet. Huh? Now y'all wanna get quiet. I ain't 
ain't gonna be big like that. Yeah, that's what you say before you throw some chitlins in your mouth. You're lying. Or before you go, what? I don't know this. I ain't trying to be funny. But my Latinas, what y'all eat on Thanksgiving? Y'all eat turkey and chitlins still? <laughs> I'm so serious. Y'all eat that menudo, that soup stuff. What y'all eat? Turkey. 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 And what else? Y'all got some, what you call it, ethnic kiski. Y'all got some ethnic kiski food on. What else y'all eat? What, what y'all eat? Salsa. Salsa. Don't y'all eat that every day? <laughs> don't Latinos eat salsa every day? No. You don't? But they eat it at every potluck at my job. I thought it was the national food of Arizona. I just, I just thought it was a law that you were supposed to eat salsa. That's just what I thought. I, I didn't know. But let me tell y'all a little bit about myself. I am Lady Q, that funny girl. I am from Chicago. Woo! I like when people make a little bit of noise for Chicago. We a wonderful city, right? <laughs> <laughs> this the dude over here. All they got is Dear Bronkworth and Laverne and Shirley. Yeah, he laughing? <laughs> you don't hear nobody talk about Milwaukee. Nobody, except the people that escape. <laughs> You know you're gonna be sounding like guy at the end. <sighs> you better stop. <laughs> no, he did. <laughs> but we talked about folks being single and stuff, and give it up for Kay. She got a man. If he don't lick, at least he sticks. So that's good. That's good. That's good. So you gotta take what you can get now. I ain't getting none of that. They say sex is like riding a bike. I don't remember how to do that either. It's been a minute, y'all. I am like so single, it don't make sense. So guy is 37, he acting like he old and stuff. He done messed up my whole world because I am a cougar, y'all. I'm a cougar and I don't mind it. Let me explain, because you yell, because you might not know what a cougar is. I need you to know just in case you meet up in the parking lot. Hey, hey, I'm thinking about you the white meat of my life. So you might be my first, you okay with that? Everybody need a little dark meat. Everybody loves chicken. Yes. So you need a little dark meat. I might be your first. I'm going to help you knock out so many different demographics. You got to be your first black woman. You ain't never been with a black girl, have you? No. Mm -hmm. You ain't never been with a big girl either, have you? No. You ain't never been with an older woman either, huh? No. I'm a child. I'm a child. I'm a child. I'm a child. I'm a You 37, y'all sit on your nuts? Did y'all do that? That's a thing? <laughs> but you got the nerve to talk about our titties? Look, let me tell you something. We spend sixty five dollars. I spend sixty five dollars and these titties go right back up. <laughs> you can't say that about some sagging testicles. You sat on them? And they still work? That's so sad. I feel like you need a telethon for like 45 cents a night or 45 cents a day. You can save testicles from getting sat on. I think something needs to be done. So, I'm going to talk to you because I'm sure you sat on your testicles too. So, after you sit on them, they just they just work the way they used to work, right? Like, ain't no, ain't no problem with them. Like, one of them ain't smaller than the other one now. No, I feel like you got cramps and shit. Cramps. Yeah. Yeah, it, it hurts all up in here and shit. I mean, you hit, man, the wrong side of your butt. Even if you graze them motherfuckers. Oh, y'all yeah, graze them, huh? Not even, you don't want to. See, that's what happens when you got an Audi and not an Indy. Ladies, we good, ain't we? Hey, we don't have them situations. We don't have them situations. We don't have those. And I'm gonna go back to you guys with this whole thing with the breasts. When we lay down in the bed, yeah, mine go from north to south, that's okay. All you gotta do is push them back together, it's the same party. <laughs> so why you gotta talk about, you know, it's hard aging as a woman. Let me give you an example. Right, fellas, it's hard, right? Right? We got to do extra stuff to keep ourselves together. We date a woman about, about $80 on our hair. And because I got natural hair now, I might spend about $40. <laughs> about $40 on my hair. My nails is $35, my feet is $45, new outfit about $80 to $100. You're going to want me to be all right, so I got to go buy some pineapples just in case I jump off. Yeah. I got to have some money for Uber in case you crazy and I didn't drive. I got to have my own little 
food money just in case you act like you left your wallet at home. <laughs> and then you stay with a $25 razor, buy me a Mai Tai and a Long Island, and you think all the chocolate goodness is yours? <laughs> if you do the math, I spend about $300. Oh, I forgot to talk about the Brazilian because y'all little white boys, y'all like it smooth. You know, look, he likes sure do, man. Sure do. Y'all like it smooth. So that's about $80 right there. We go through pure torture just so y'all can get up in here like a jackrabbit and make yourself feel good. Y'all don't really care if we have orgasms or not. Y'all just be like, I did it. You want to tell him, I hit one, I bust a nut. I know, I know. But I spent about $300 walking. And all you did was shave with an old razor, which was, it was old. Um, you got a haircut, that's about what, $25? What a haircut wrong for me? About $25? Yeah. Y'all lying because all y'all boys cut hair, so you ain't paid nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a free haircut. You just shaved with an old razor, bought me two drinks. Now what, stand up live, that's about $300 right there on the drink. So we might be a little even, but you ain't taking me to stand up live. If you white, you taking me to Lolo's, because you don't know no better. <laughs> <laughs> That's about $300 walking, so in my opinion, I put your penis on layaway before I walk out the house. Oh. <laughs> but you think you get chocolate goodness from a Mai Tai and a Long Island, huh? Okay. Sometimes I gotta admit, y'all, I'm single, I told you. I be getting all awkwardly quiet on me, hell. My life is single, and I need to talk to people sometimes. <laughs> Keep dealing with these men. Well, black men, I love black men. Latino men, let me talk about y'all. Oh, Latino men. Y'all are so sexy to me. Make some noise if you Latino and sexy, don't lie. <laughs> about three of y'all told the truth. <laughs> y'all so sexy to me, but I'ma tell you the truth, I'm so scared of y'all. Y'all got like super sperm or something, because y'all women, we pregnant like every 43 days. I can't, I can't do that. Y'all ain't no recovery time or nothing. You like, you got nine kids lined up. How old is your kid? Nine. How old is this one? Nine and a half. How old is this one? Eight. Eight and three quarters. I can't do that. You can't get me pregnant like this. These is old eggs. Old eggs. That's why I won't work at your TV bar right there, Will. Because these don't do what you need them to do, okay? so. Thank you for the job offer, but I have to gracefully decline. All right. <laughs> white boys. You mixed, honey? Are you mixed? Are you all white? Me? Yeah, you. All white. Hundred percent white. Probably not. Probably not. No, but y'all think y'all are. So you know, hey, it's all right. It's all right. Cause you kind of cute. How old are you? Twenty-two. 22. Oh. Little boy, little boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had a fantasy right here just looking at your little thing. Oh, so <laughs> But you know why I can't date you? Because see, I think if I date you, we already know. He cute too, but he taking me to Lolo's. I'm offended, can't do it. <laughs> I'm not going to date you because you ain't got no car. You're going to put me on the back of that, that scooter. I can't do that. All this buoyancy, I'm going to talk it right on over. Why you trying to have me out there scooting with my foot too? That's just disrespectful. That's disrespectful. At least in the lift to get me. Oh, go get that lift. Get the, the other lift, the one with the little seat. So if I sit on the seat and you stand up, at least when I tell a story to my friends, I can be like, he picked me up in his ride. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. I just had to bend a little bit, so I'm done with all of that. Y'all ready to get this? Keep this party 